If your Triscantia has been losing its limbs like crazy and you just don't know why, you can't stop it, nothing seems to work, well follow my simple steps on how to get rid of this and you will never have to deal with this problem ever again. So the first thing we're going to have to learn is where do Triscantias grow in the wild? So um, Triscantias usually grow, um, some people might think they grow like in the rainforest, but no, most of them actually grow in grasslands and fields, which is kind of weird. Um, they will creep along the ground, they won't climb things, they will creep along the ground and they have nodes where the leaves are, if you can see that on yours, and those nodes will send out shoots into the ground and uh, that will give the plant more nutrients that way. But when we have them in our house, when we have them in like a hanging pot like I do right here, um, these arms are floating in the air obviously and they don't, the nodes don't have any dirt to sink into and send out new shoots and get nutrients. So once the plant gets big enough and it's been in the air like this for a while and it just doesn't get enough nutrients, um, it will start to shed its leaves and die. And you can't really stop this from happening. That's kind of the sad part about these plants when you have them inside your house. Yeah, I'm gonna cover how to fix this and what you have to do to keep the plant alive. So pretend my inch plant was had its leaves shedding. You would want to snip off the whole arm, so it'll just have the whole arm. Some leaves might be dead, but that's okay. And snip off all the arms on your plant, propagate them. You can either take those cuttings, put them in some water, the nodes will grow new roots and it will grow back again. Or you can just stick it right in dirt. Sticking it right in dirt is a lot better and easier, and it works the exact same way. So once you have the arms in soil or something else, um, um, the nodes will send out shoots in the soil and that will give them new nutrients and and stuff like that um, and then once it gets fine again starts to get old again it'll just die again and um, basically you have to do that like every time it starts doing that yeah it's kind of annoying but yeah it's kind of something you have to do to keep them alive and another thing you can do if you don't want to chop your triscantia you can take a very wide pot and fill it with nutrient dirt and stuff and you can take the long arms and hook them into the dirt in your pot. So the nodes will all be touching the dirt. You can use like a like a paper clip to clip the arms down in the dirt and that will force the nodes to start growing, growing roots and get more happy. And that's another way to do it if you don't wanna um, accidentally kill your plant by chopping it, but you won't kill it if you're propagating it. So this plant I had, I took the arms off and I tried to carefully put the arms and force them back into the dirt with my own stupid looking aluminum clips that I made out of aluminum. And um, I think it's doing a little better. I mean, look at all these new arms popping up. It was dying before. And yeah, it, lo it looks a little happier and I'm hoping it'll get bushy. So yeah. 